this is Rich Kambach for Infomax Network and today we're going to give you a tip on how to track that BBC life of a container tip by Dr. Philip Wainwright with Supply Chain Management Maritime Applications. Computers, clothes, even cuddly toys. Almost everything we buy gets here in a container. Over the next year, we'll follow this box around the world. You can track it online at bbc.co.uk forward slash the box or see it here on BBC News. The key challenge, really, at the centrepiece of the project in online terms, was the map where people could find out where the box was and where it had been over the course of its journey. with uh, Dr. Phil Wainwright and we're uh, taking a look at live maps on the marine traffic and today we're going to talk about uh, the marine traffic and he's going to give us some insights on ports and ship traffic and we're going to track it on this map. So uh, Phil, where do you want us to go first? Alright, let me just introduce um, how we track uh, cargo vessels uh, around the world. It's done through uh, a radio network known as Inmarsat. It's International Maritime Satellite. Now that's controlled by the uh, United Nations, one of the things that they do for to promote world commerce. Um, that's the IMO, International Maritime Organization, has this uh, Inmarsat, International Maritime Satellite. And each international vessel is required to have a radio that links to that satellite and uh, with that satellite link we can identify where those ships are and it's any ship above eight tons or a Rieka. And that's, now, Rieka, uh, you want me to go yes. to number 59? Yes, please go to 59 on your chart and take a look at it. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, if we can keep that simple, just look at the map. There are many other hybrids. Um, okay, I've got, um, okay, now I'm on, uh, I'm by the port of Rayeka. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is switch over to satellite uh, imagery right. instead of just okay. the map. So give me a second. Okay, now I'm satellite. Let's keep it out uh, because I want to. I want for everyone to take a look at the um, at the uh, activity, the maritime activity that's okay. there in that particular region. Okay. Uh, remember, let me go through this again. This is Inmarsat, which is the National Maritime Satellite that each one of our cargo ships on international bases, if they're a member of the United Nations, their ships that have their flags have to have this interconnect. So we can identify where they are anywhere in the world. Now with our containers, we then can tell you whether our, our containers are on board that ship or they've moved off, but that's another story. But let's just focus on this map. And it's a nice little microcosm of, of the world. It's that upper right-hand corner of Europe and it's, 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 it, it, it gives you a little shot of what goes on. We can do this. There are, there are about 400 or 500 other sections we can look at all over the world, and we'll do the same sort of thing. So this enables us to know where we are. And if you will, um, if you've got one of those, let's, let's, trick on, let's click on a tanker. Um, try to pick a tanker, which is the red one. Click yeah. on that uh, tanker that's sort of in the middle, it's below of uh, Venice. And it's, the, uh, uh, I'm the, clicking. The Wexford? If, the Wexford? The Wexford, that's right. If you'll okay. see that, it's flagged in Malta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the, it's hazardous material, it's a tanker, which means it, the chances of it being um, probably a petroleum derivative. It's underway. You see the course? It's 10.3 it's mm -hmm. uh, kilonauts. So that's knots, everything's in knots and kilos, of course, in the European system. You see her length is 90 meters long by 20 meters wide. The draw or the draft, that's mean that's how much water that she has to have before she stays afloat. That's what draught means. Uh -huh. Okay. The uh, Margara, uh, that's in Africa. So she's going to offload and uh, make an exchange and unload part of her, probably her cargo, which would be uh, maybe petroleum. There is a, at Marguerra, there is a, a refinery there. And so this information was just one minute, uh, 10 seconds ago. 
and uh, all vessels details we can we can use that we can this one doesn't have a photo but many others have photos so you can see the enormous information that is available for those of us that control and manage containers and ships around the world uh, with the global compliant operating system or any system you're using ours ours happens to be as one of, of two or three that are out there but this is how we are able to preserve and protect the supply chain and cargoes and identify where things are now, so if we have a problem with one of the ships then we can quickly yeah. find where it is and we can then drill down on that particular ship and get emergency information to them it says here it says uh, click on to show vessels track I'm just going to click on that Please do that. That's a fantastic. It will show you where it's oh, been and what it's doing. Oh yeah. Oh, that's amazing, huh? So you know, this is a uh, this is the fun part of uh, Google Earth and Terra Metrics and the imagery that you see. Uh, so the message is really we we have so much access thanks to our computer modeling and our computer virtual reality that we can. Uh, reassure ourselves that the technical technology systems are available and it's up to the private enterprise in conjunction and of course with the with the approvals of government to really uh, provide systems so that we can assure the safety of our cargo and its delivery system and in the event there's an emergency we have to be able to respond and that's what the G GPLOS does too. Global Compliant Operating System not only tracks and traces these ships and the containers as they move down the world, we know what's inside our containers and Coast Guard Cutter might be to identify to lead them their way. Now listen, these ships and these captains, they're, they're quite special. Uh, these guys get paid uh, as much or more than uh, airline uh, captains, believe me. Uh -huh. uh, because they are like they're their generals and admirals and and presidents and prime ministers all rolled into one they when they're at sea they command that vessel uh, with absolute authority now by going to the interactive map on the BBC we can see the route of the box container that's being tracked by the BBC here it contains uh, household goods uh, we can show um, here economic hardship creeps the box in LA and it gives us a little sidebar note there um, telling us about uh, its current condition again here we are Suez Canal plays a key role global transportation so just as Dr. Wainwright was explaining this um, global globalization and supply chain line is very crucial to keeping the stability of our economy and our food chain uh, intact. And so, with that, uh, we'll conclude this program.